At the end of this footnote, we need to indicate where we got this information from, so we need to cite our source with a parenthetical citation. A parenthetical citation means that you cited it within the actual paper. So to create my citation here, I could actually just manually type it, but that's going to really limit all the features that you have in Microsoft Word to make writing papers a lot easier. So instead what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the References tab and we're going to insert a citation. Now we don't have any sources right now, so we can go ahead and click Add New Source. If we had already entered this source and used it before, it would show up here and we could just click that particular source. So let's go ahead and click Add New Source. And when you get into this particular area, you're going to have to make sure that you go methodically through all of these different options. So the first thing you need to pick is what type of source is it? Is it a website? Is it an article? Is it a book? So in this instance, it's a book. And this book has two authors. It's going to tell you how to type it, but in general, what you're going to want to do is come over here and edit it and add names that way so that it properly formats it. This is really important. English teachers get real get real sticky about this, so make sure you do it the right way. So for this author, her last name is Gupta, and her first name is Elena, and her middle name is Maya. So we'll click Add, and then we'll do the next author, which is Padro. Ad Adalbert, and the middle name is Luis. So we'll click Add, and once we have both of our auth authors in there, we'll click OK, and then it's going to properly type it out for you. Then what we need to do is enter the information that you have to have here. So the title is Hearing Protection Methods. The year is 2017. The city is Orlando. Palm Press for the publisher and the medium. Let's see, we'll show all bibli bibliography fields. Oops, I didn't type Orlando right. So the medium, where is that question? Ah, down here. The medium is print. So we'll enter all of that information and notice that when you do this, that it's trying to give you a hint with the red stars, the things that are required to have. So, or recommended fields. So these are the four recommended fields and the medium is not recommended, but it's a good idea so that people know that this was a print resource, therefore it's not gonna update as much as maybe a web resource does. So once you click okay, it's gonna add that, that parenthetical citation right here and it's gonna become one of your citation options here. So that's really helpful. The next time I quote them or put something from the Gupta and Pedro book, we can definitely just click this and we don't have to go through all those steps again. Also, you can see that when we hover over it, there are options here. It's not just like we've typed it. And in this instance, we've already listed their name, so we don't need to have that here. We just need to list the page numbers we got this reference or this fact from. So we'll click this drop down menu and choose edit citation. We could edit the full source and that'll bring us back in here. But for now, we just want to edit how it looks in the citation. And so we want to put our particular page number. So it's 75 through 78. And we want to suppress the author names because again, we've listed it here. And we're just going to suppress actually everything. So now what it's going to do is it's just going to put page 75 through 78. So this is a way to really easily do references and citations and manually manage your sources. Then when you go to create a works cited page, you, if you have more than one source, which we don't have right now, you just have to click bibliography, choose works cited, and it'll write it out all for you, which is really, really, really helpful. So make sure you do this for all of your parenthetical citations and don't just manually type them out.